I'm increasingly hearing people talk about ketones. It's just, it's remarkable the improvement in cognitive performance that I feel when I'm fasted or I'm in a ketogenic diet. The, the food industry tells you, well, carbohydrates are energy. Actually, that's not true. Carbohydrates inhibit energy production. How do you mean? So there's this thing called a bomb calorimeter, and there's this thing called a mitochondria. Mm -hmm. They're not the same. A bomb calorimeter, you throw food into the bomb calorimeter, it explodes and it gives off heat, captures the heat, measures the heat. And that's how we know, for instance, fat burns at nine calories per gram, protein burns at four calories per gram, carbohydrate burns at four calories per gram, which is why fat is more energy dense than protein or carbohydrate, which is how we all determine that fat made you fat. Because a calorie is that amount of energy that raises one gram of water, one degree centigrade. Okay. So it is a measure of physics. Okay. So it's this, a measure of heat generation. Okay. Okay. Mitochondria are not bomb calorimeters. <laughs> they are not capturing heat. They are giving off heat. They are capturing ATP. No bomb calorimeter captures ATP. Mitochondria capture and generate ATP. Mm -hmm. Now, turns out 35 to 40% of what mitochondria generate turns out to be heat. That transfer of food energy to chemical energy loses energy in the process. The bomb calorimeter can't tell the difference, but your mitochondria can. Ultimately, it's how efficient are your mitochondria at converting food energy to ATP. The bomb calorimeter can't tell you anything about that. So these two phenomena, you know, the concept of calories as fuel and the concept of calories as generators of ATP have really very little to do with each other. And it turns out that there are individual things in food, the famous one is fructose, but there are others, lectins and others, that actually inhibit the mitochondrial generation of ATP. So they actually inhibit your ability to turn food energy into chemical energy. If that's the case, even if they have calories per gram in a bomb calorimeter, if they're interfering with mitochondrial function, are they food? What is the definition of food? Substrate that contributes either to growth or burning of an organism. Well, I just told you, fructose actually inhibits burning. Turns out, fructose also inhibits growth. It inhibits cortical bone growth, trabecular bone growth, cancellous bone growth. People who eat ultra-processed food end up shorter. We have the data for that.